So today I had the 12 week ultrasound. Coral Mayer is 19 years old here and her life is about to change. When I first found out that I was pregnant, I honestly felt like I had like no right to be excited because it wasn't planned because... In 2019, she documented her journey for a school project, charting the emotional turbulence. She also faced a complication that made everything tougher. Um, here's something that is humiliating, although maybe it shouldn't be. I don't know the father of my child. With two possible fathers, she turned to Google for answers and found Vigard, a lab on the eastern edge of Toronto, offering prenatal paternity tests. <laughs> and in online videos, the owner, Harvey Tenenbaum, guaranteed the results. You can have confidence in the results and you're receiving the definitive answer on the question of the paternity of the fetus. Thank you. It's, it's hard to explain because... Mayer put her trust in Viagard. You know, like it's obviously legit. It's a DNA company. It, it's science. It's black or white. It's not, there's no gray area. Oh, I really don't want to do this. Okay. She filmed as she followed the lab's home kit testing instructions, drawing a pinprick of blood to squeeze into a vial and send in the mail. Do you think that's enough? Like, Here, you want to Along with the swab DNA of the two could be fathers. She still remembers the walk to the mailbox. What I'm feeling at that moment is that I'm irresponsible and immature to put it into the mailbox to send it to a company who's going to tell me who the father of my child is. Well, it's Thanksgiving. Viagard named one of the two men as the father. She tried to include him in the pregnancy. Do you want to be there for the delivery? You sure? What? Sure. Sure? Mm -hmm. Or yes? <laughs> oh, I know. She gave birth to a healthy girl, but the joy was soon tainted by nagging questions about paternity. New tests were done with a different lab. They showed Vigard's tests were wrong. The man Vigard had ruled out was actually the real dad. You know when you're just so hysterically upset you laugh like you're just like you're just beyond emotion you're like there's no way in any world that this is happening like for real like are there other people am i the only one mayor wasn't the only one a cbc news investigation has found dozens of other victims whose lives were upended after trusting viagard these stories span a decade and stretch from canada to the uk across the United States and to Australia. Now you have your white blood cells separated. It raises the question, was Mayer's test the problem? Dr. Mohamed Akbari at the Women's College Hospital in Toronto says prenatal paternity tests are extremely reliable when done right. That accuracy depends to when during the pregnancy you get the mom's blood and when during the pregnancy you do the test. At 3,000 RPM for 10 minutes. But a test needs a full vial of the mother's blood to get any reading of the fetus's uh, DNA at all. Can you get 10 millimeters from the, your finger? Of course not. Okay, we're... Of course not. The important part of prenatal non-invasive testing is the blood collection from the mom. And that blood collection is not something that could be done at home. Half a continent away in Atlanta, Georgia, Vagard's results turned another family's hope into grief. We kept all of the cards that everybody gave when the baby was born, the congratulations and everything. Pictures. Jenny have, Brennan and her son John Brennan sift through memories of the time Jenny was a first time grandmother and John briefly a dad. All of our family members were giving so much money um, just to help them, you know, get started and everything. In 2015, a test from prenatal paternities, a site run by Vigard, said John Brennan was a father. 
Yeah, it's like as soon as I saw those test results, it was like a line in the sand immediately right then and there, things just changed. He bought a house so and prepared like for his new reality. Thing. You know, we weren't boyfriend and girlfriend beforehand, so we were all just kind of doing our best. His son became his world, but the relationship with the baby's mother fell apart, triggering a custody battle and thousands of dollars in legal bills. Then in January 2017, the baby's mother sent a text message that crumbled his world. You are not Travis's biological father. What? We did DNA. It was wrong. The boy's mother had done a second paternity test that said another man was the father. If I take myself back to that, that point in time, it was, I mean, insanely hard to deal with. I mean, my gut is telling me, no, this is my kid. What do you mean? I don't care what the results are. But the he problem? went to a local Atlanta laboratory and it confirmed his new reality. And so you're left in this mysterious, dark place mentally where there's not a handbook on how to handle raising a kid for eight months and then finding out that it's not yours. Pain engulfed the family. Yeah, it's a, it's a loss. It was like a death. That's how I can talk about it. And you just deal with it in your own way, you know, and it's grieving. They never saw the little boy again. These types of stories surfaced over and over as CBC News followed Viagard's trail. It eventually led to several former employees who revealed the inner workings of the office. They say they were told to ask women about their menstrual cycles, info DNA tests don't need. They say the lab was chaotic, unprofessional, and complaints came in all the time. And employees allege some samples were thrown in the garbage and never tested at all. You lock it with the bottom one, one time. Just one time. All right, so they're all working now. It was time to get an inside look at the lab. So, oh, hi. I called a little while ago and I talked to... So a CBC um, producer went undercover to find out what they tell customers behind closed doors. Hi. Hi. I'm good. How are you? She met Vigard's owner, Harvey Tenenbaum, who revealed why the lab had recently stopped doing prenatal paternity testing. At least with this, it sounds like the accuracy is there, because with the prenatal the stuff... The accuracy is there. Prenatal, it was never that accurate, and it's expensive. It's a couple thousand dollars for a test. We're literally with that test now. It's pretty good, but pretty good is not good enough. He described times where Vigard's tests were proven wrong at birth. And that has happened. Uh, I tested a white guy and the baby came all black. I said, what the hell's going on here? You know what I mean? There's a lot involved if you screw it, get screwed up. You're going to get an abortion, but what, 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 what if it's the wrong guy named? <laughs> You're aborting your child of the, you know, the wrong person. There is an expectation that we need to protect the public. You can't underestimate the impact that results like this have on individuals. Professor Manzawadi is research director for McGill University's Center for Genomics and Policy. He says you don't need any type of special license to operate a private commercial DNA lab and the government needs to step in as a regulator. This is something that requires um, a lot of work uh, to be able to do. I mean, again, these companies proliferate. There are lots of them. There is a role for Health Canada to play in that. For Vigard's victims, the damage can be permanent. I kind of base my entire life decisions, these huge decisions, off of this DNA test, you know? and. Um, yeah, so to find out that it wasn't legit, it was tricky. When he believed he was a father, John tattooed the child's name Travis on his arm. Originally said Travis. Now it reads Travesty. Dr. Harvey. CBC News went back one more time to put questions directly to the 91-year-old owner of Vigard who ignored multiple requests for interviews. The reason I just want a moment of your time, because we talked to like dozens of people whose lives been upended by your laboratories. Well, you know, you do 
thousands of tests. Yeah. But and half the errors are the collection problem. I know that you knew these tests were flawed, but you still no, kept No, no, the tests were never flawed. Tests are the tests are accurate. We had a hidden camera, and we spoke to you about this, and you said you knew that they were wrong. There's dozens of lives that have been upended by these tests. They believed in you. They believed what you said, that your tests were ironclad. Um, I really hate the name Vigard. I hate it so much. Coral Mayer says she still wants to find some sort of justice for what happened to her and many others. The main thing I want for Vigard is for it to close down. I think that's like a collective feeling. I don't think anyone would even imagine that it would still be open. But life keeps moving, and there's now a four-year-old that fills her future.